You're tuned to Caldwell this morning on WJRI. 8.09 is the time check. 37 degrees currently. And we have a slew of folks in the studio with us from the Happy Valley School, where they will be performing at the Happy Valley School Cafe Gymatorium. <laughs> uh, no, I guess it's just the gymatorium. You don't, you don't eat, it's not the cafeteria too. It's the gymatorium at Happy Valley. And uh, we're happy to have all these folks in with us today. And they're gonna be telling us about this uh, great program they have coming up. Uh, let me start off with uh, Erica Greer, who I believe is uh, sort of in charge of this group. Is the word sort of correct? Yes. Are you sort of in charge? Sort of, slightly. <laughs> uh, I know your name was on the email, so there we go. <laughs> uh, and we spoke with you last time when you had uh, another program for us. And So just give us the particulars about what this next uh, show is. So our next show is Alice in Wonderland Jr., it's going to be held on March 3rd at 6.30. It's going to be a big dinner theater, so your ticket price includes a meal. And this is our middle school drama club. So these students come in and they rehearse after school on Fridays, and then they come in for full day Saturday rehearsals and give us a lot of their time and their effort when they don't have to to be able to pull off some amazing productions. So let me ask this. You used the word junior. What does that mean? Somebody's like, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, I know Alice in Wonderland. Why did she say junior? Well, it's the same storyline, but basically it's just an abbreviated version so that we're not doing a two and a half hour production. Gotcha. So it'll be roughly an hour, 15 minutes. Okay. Um, does it follow the cartoon original movie from yes. way back more so than the Johnny Depp version recently? Yes, I think it follows more of the original Disney version. Okay. Um, so let's just start with uh, some of the cast who is with us this morning. I'll ask you to go ahead and... Uh, Give us your names and tell us uh, what part you have in the production. So we'll start over here. We'll go from left to right. All right. My name is Molly, and I play the right and I play the white rabbit. Okay. My name's Abby, and I play the Queen of Hearts. All right. I'm Jade, and I'm Alice. You're Alice. Okay. I'm Logan, and I play the part as a caterpillar. The caterpillar. <laughs> okay. All right, so how many of you have been in productions before? Um, I have, Abby has, and Logan, Logan has, and then Jade, she just got here this year and she's having a really good experience. Okay, Jade, now, uh, were you in any other productions before, um, um, before coming here? Not, not really, no. I've been okay. in one a long time ago, but... Okay. Um, you know, it's funny, some people really get the bug for it and they like to do it, and other people like, oh, I'm so glad that's over. I never want to do that again. Um, <laughs> my wife and I both did things growing up in school and everything. I have an 11-year-old. He doesn't want to touch the stage. He doesn't want to even hear it. So um, how many folks can fit in the gymatorium? So how, in other words, what's the audience potential here? Um, somewhere between 250 to 300. 250 to 300, okay. And you mentioned the dinner. Will the dinner yes. be in a separate area or is it no, in there No, it will as well? be in the gym as well. We'll set up tables. It'll be all, the whole nine yards, table decorations, decorated gym. The students will actually serve you dressed as their character. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as dinner and dessert has been completed, we'll move on with the show. Okay, how was Alice chosen as the production for this, for this go-round? Basically, just trying to find a show that had enough parts for all of our kids that were interested in doing it. We had um, a large group that wanted to be involved, and we had to make sure that we had enough parts for every student, and as well as enough stage hands and lights mm -hmm. and sound and curtain. And so, how many kids are involved in, in this year's production? Roughly around 30, I think. Right. Okay. What about set design? Did they have to do their own sets, or was that something that you had a crew that was able to help with? Or? They See actually the helped do all the sets too. So when we come in on Saturdays, um, when they're not on the stage working their scene, they're helping with set. They're painting, they're building mushrooms, they are making flowers, anything and everything. Um, it's um, completely student led. Yeah, we've been having so much fun just painting. Yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. so many memories just painting and painting our faces and stuff. It's just been so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe I'll get them in trouble now with the kids. Do you guys like to take a part of the set home with you after this is all over to keep for your, for your lifetime? Just tap. 
That would be cool. <laughs> we never, love to do that. we never yeah. really thought about that, yeah. but that'd be cool. Uh oh, I've opened a can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet we can make that happen. All right, we're going to take a quick break and be back with more. We're talking with a cast from Alice in Wonderland from the Happy Valley School. Be right back right after this on Caldwell this morning. Keep it tuned right here at 1340 AM and 100.5 FM. No way. Yeah. 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 I got, I got yeah. tongue tied when I said the white rabbit. I was like the white, the the white, the white rabbit. The entire play, I've said the white instead of the white rabbit. That's the whole play. Yeah, I did this the whole time. I did this the whole time.